Hi hey friends. Thanks for joining me. I just want to say I really appreciate. I know, you know, this channel, I want to put so much more into it than I'm able to. But thanks for watching when you guys do watch. I really do appreciate it. So, Diamond Grandma showed this, I'm sure you can see it, showed this canvas that she got. Oh, I don't know the company she got it from. I can't, I think she she did complete it, um, but I'm not sure where she got it from. I'll link her video below when she shows it. And I believe hers was around. Mine I purchased on Amazon, and I will show you the box, and I will try and link that one too. Um, I bought the same diamond painting company before. Uh, the beads were nice. This one happened to be a square. I don't think I even knew that when I bought it. But anyway, it's a square. I'm going to be kidding up and I'm going to be only adding three ABs to this. This comes with no ABs, but I'm going to be adding three ABs and not all of them. So I'm going to be adding ABs in the eyes. And it does have a butterfly right here. So I'm going to add an AB here. And just around the AB, I'm going to do, just around AB, just around the butterfly, I'm going to do three 10 ABs. And then the, 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 the butterfly itself is supposed to be this color. And I'm like, it's supposed to be more vibrant. I'll show you a picture in a second. Should be on the screen now. So I'm going to substitute with this 820 AB instead of this gray, which is like so, I don't know, because it goes in the eyes and it goes in the butterfly. And then the 310 AB, I'm just going to go around the eyes and just around the butterfly, the, the wings of the butterfly. And then I'm going to do this one. So it's not the exact color swatch, but I think it goes perfectly fine. This is 25, which is 3860. And I'm going to substitute with 313041. And this was, and this is from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. Okay. So I'm going to be kidding up and kind of just having a chat with you guys. Um, so as I was saying, I'm going to be using, sorry, I'm going to be using um, the box from. Harbor Freight Tools. It only comes with 24 boxes and I'm going to use some baggies. I know I won't need this many, but I just had this many out. So, um, and then the labels I have are from Avery and I'll show you. Bought the bags on Amazon and bought these stickers here. I'm going to leave this up so you guys can see it. Um, and that's the size. So a half an inch by three quarters. And it's the perfect size to fit right here on the on the boxes. You'll see it in a second. So that's what I got. All right. So let's see what's happening. So you guys have, no, have known that um, two artists that two artists diamond painting. Grace from True Artist Diamond Painting um, commissioned me last month or yeah, commissioned me the middle of last month to work on a diamond painting for her that she was going to be set. Oh wait, hold on guys. Sorry. I have like one of the boxes has the cut up pieces of, um, you know, what is this called? Good Lord. Um, dryer paper sheets. So I reuse them because it's not like, I don't think they lose their dryer paperness. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, Grace commissioned me last month to do that diamond painting for her and I did it and I loved it and I sent it off to her and she had it in the fair and she said it was good. So I was like really excited about it. She sent me a picture. I was like, oh the work you know it's not really my work but you know I completed it well I did like half of it because that's all she needed me to do so um that was super exciting to see that oh my goodness what is that that's a two okay why is number one a two 
So this is how I label when it comes to, um, and these labels are matte, which is really nice because then if you use, um, if you use an ink pen or like a felt tip pen, it doesn't, it doesn't bleed through and it dries like instantly. So I do that. I, the tab is open. I hold it closed and then I'm going to put the sticker right here. And then you close the tab and it's not going to hit, you know. So that's what I do for my labels. And what I like to do for my labeling is, let me just throw these here. I like the Harbor Freight tools because you can fit, like I just fit two full bags into this container. Now, a lot of people don't like because the tops, like, you know, beads will get in, or not beads, drills will get in there. You just knock it down before you start. Okay, and then I just have them up. I am going to try and make a little, not so much of a big mess today because I don't want to have to be cleaning up. But, so you guys, um, so yeah, so that's what I ended up doing last month. I actually just finished a diamond painting that I got from Amazon. I said, Brad, pick what my next project's gonna be. And I put out like five of them on the bed and I just had the, the pictures, um, not the pictures, the canvases out. And I was like, just pick which one you want me to do next. And of course he was like, that one, right? But it turned out to be the one I really did want to work on. Um, but of course he's, why is one, one is two and two is one. I can't, two, one. Um, and then I go, oh, okay, cool. That's the one I really wanted to do. And then I was like, and then I started putting stuff away. And he's like, oh, there's a leopard. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you didn't even look. So he didn't look. So anyway, it doesn't matter because I was going to, I wanted to do that one first. And I wanted to do this one next. I was contemplating actually going back to diamond painting with sparklers and doing, and getting a couple more of these for um, an AB. But then I changed my mind because I was like, you know what? Maybe I just want to really do his eyes and do the butterfly and do everything else in the colors because the colors are gorgeous. They're really a lot of pinks and mauves and purples and I love it. So um, I was okay with that. Um, just kind of highlighting those two areas just because the colors are nice. And I'm really excited. Um, and it's funny, like I said, because Diamond Grandma just finished this one and she posted a video and I was like, I have that one. But mine I have um, is, like I was saying before, a square. I found this one. I hope you guys saw this video when I talked about this one. But I saw a girl on TikTok and she was saying how this was her first diamond painting and she was like gathering all of her supply, supplies and stuff. And it, I didn't even, I don't know. I didn't even finish. And TikTok is short. I didn't even finish watching the tick, end of the TikTok before I was on Amazon looking for it. And I think I told you guys, I finally found it. And originally I was finding it for like $25, you know, like $19. I was like, no, I can, I know, I, I know it's, I can find it somewhere better. And then I actually saw that the, um, I don't know the girl's name, so I apologize. Um, I actually saw that she was pulling it out of this blue box and I was like, yes. And so while I kept searching, I still couldn't find it for, you know, not so expensive. And then I found another diamond painting by that same company. And I just went onto their Amazon and lo and behold, there it was. And it was like $10. I was like, yep. So, <clears throat> so work work is um coming along nicely i know you guys don't know what i do but that's not really important to the story it's coming along nicely i have something that's coming up uh that is uh you know going to be exciting for me and a I consider it a promotion because yes you can get hired into my company starting as this position but I think people fare much better who have been in the company 
for a long time or within the industry for a long time going into this position. I find that you need so much product knowledge to, um, and just knowledge of the stuff. Yeah, well, product knowledge. You need so much product knowledge in order to do really well in this next position. And I finally, you know, really feel comfortable with the computers, with the products, with, you know, just everything. So now it's just another step. And as far as, um, I'm going to be, uh, doing what I do at work, not from home, but in home. So I'm excited. That's coming up in August. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I hope it loosens up my schedule a little bit more because, you know, my boys are just getting so much. They're growing so big. And you guys know that I was married and I'm dating the love, the man I love right now, um, Brad. And, um, but my boys are getting so big now and... I don't want to start missing the big stuff. And my middle son wants to play basketball. My little son is actually really good at... Not that my big, my middle son is not good. He's just not as wanting it as my little guy. And my little guy, like, you know, he watches movies and he watches shows. He watches, you know, obviously he watches the NBA. He watches the, like, the rap, NBA wrap-up that they do. You know, so he's not just watching the game. He does, he really does enjoy the sport. So we're like totally behind him and he's excited. He's in another league in the summer. He was in, in like, uh, like the fall, like late fall. Um, but now he's going to be in a summer league and they had tryouts and he was like, okay, I'll talk to you after I get on the team. And I'm like, okay, buddy. <laughs> um, He's just really excited. So we're excited. Another a travel team actually wanted him to play. They had seen him play. Um, they wanted him to play. And we just couldn't really make it happen between my ex's schedule and mine. So, but we, because travel, you know, travel, if you guys ever have, if you guys have kids and they're in travel sports, you really got to get, you really got to have your schedule together. And unfortunately we just don't have it so he was understanding he's upset but he was understanding and you know we tell him like you know we want to support as much as you can but you know mommy and daddy still have to get you know still have to work and still have to make sure we have you know stuff together so anyway but he is going to be playing on a more local team that only stays within his town or like his town in the next town whereas the other one was going to be traveling all over the state and we find, but we can't guarantee. And I do not like one of those people. It's hard for me to not accept help, but it's hard for me to, I don't want to have to rely on someone else to be taking my kid around, you know, cause it's stressful. I wouldn't want to be put in that position Every single time to be like, oh, thank you. You could take him to um, basketball or you could take him to practice. Or I know the game is like, you know, you know, a half an hour, 45 minutes away. That's a lot of stress to be in a car with kids, a kid that's not your kid and having to, you know, discipline the kid or talk to the kid. And like, you know, you, it's just a lot. And I don't I just don't want to be putting it on another parent, especially when, like I said, because of our schedules, I know I wouldn't be able to reciprocate that, you know? So it's kind of like, you know, it's, you know, it's just kind of like that. So, um, he just won't be doing the traveling team. Not right now. Okay. We, we definitely told him, look, it's not no forever. It's just no for right now. We can't do it right now. Um, you know, not that I think so, but my oldest son is 15. So if my youngest one keeps this up, by the time the older one, you know, we can trust him to take him, you know, he'll be able to help us to drive him around. But not right now. And obviously not right now because he's not driving age. 
But, you know, just what I'm saying is that's not going to happen right now. Oh, my God, this is not going to fit. I didn't realize there was that many. So, another si a total side, not side note, really, because it's about diamond painting. They send way too many drills with these kits. And I get you want to make sure people don't run out. And if, like, the drills are bad or whatever, there's, like, but... It's, it's a lot, and for this, um, for this hobby, it's the one thing I hate. Like, I literally dislike having to, um, so what I'm going to do as far as, so sorry, <laughs> what I'm going to do is because I don't need a lot of this 310 ABs, it, we, there's no 310 here, it's 3 it's 939, but I don't have 939 square, so the 310 is going to be fine. Um, but I don't need, I don't need that many because I'm just really doing about any of the C's that are around the eyes and the C's that are around um, the butterfly. So that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a little bag and stick that next to it. So this is going to be 10 and C. So that's the color number. That's the symbol, and then this is the actual thing that is in the bag. And that's only going to be around. And sometimes, I mean, you know, you know, sometimes you start a diamond painting, you put it off for a couple of days or weeks or whatever. So what I like to do is, uh, some most times I don't substitute all of the C's with the same thing or with an AB. So the things that I do want, I know that this is only going to be around the eyes and only going to be around the butterfly. I'm going to put another sticker. So around eyes and butterfly. That way I know exactly <laughs> cuz I'll make a decision now and not be able to so I'm going to show you guys that really quick. So I just wrote on there that in the bag, it's representing the C and this bag is actually going to have the 310 AB and it's for around the eyes and around the butterfly. Bring this in just a little. Okay. So, and because it's so little that I need, I'm just going to pour out as much as I think I'm going to need. And obviously this is... It's not, I can just always add more if I need more. That should be more than enough. We always think it's not enough and then it's more than enough. Okay. And I'm just going to add that bag right into the box. So, what was I saying? Ugh, I hate when I do that. I was talking about my son. So, we're going to see what we can... Um, do. And since this is such a small amount, I'm actually going to put this in a bag. I also do that because I want to make sure this has 27 colors and I only have 24 boxes. So some of them are going to need to stay in the bag. I'd rather it be something that has a few than a big one. So 11D is 950. So that's going to go in a bag. So I bought these bags and labels from Amazon. I think the bags, I'll have to find it for you to tell you the perfect size because I also use it in here. And in this box right here, in that box, um, sorry, the one that's a right on it, is, you know, the box where I keep my extras. Which, oh yeah, so... <laughs> I am jumping around, but I honestly can't. I'm so tired. I really, it's hard for me to follow. So anyway, in the box, I have my extras. So as I was de-kitting, um, de-kitting the, the one I just did, the diamond painting I just did, um, I, I was getting mad because I was like, I don't even use these. I think I've run out of color twice in the same painting. I contacted the company and they sent me replacements. So I didn't need to buy more or what have you. So I was kind of like, you know, ugh. 
you know, I just, I just, you know, don't want to be keeping everything. So what I'm going to do is I am no longer keeping, if I already have it, I'm not keeping more of it. So whatever I have there is all that I'm keeping. If I don't have a color, okay, already in the box, and the new color or the color that's here, I kind of like, oh wait, I wasn't going to do that. I like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bag for it. If I have, like, say, 310, right? So with my 310s, I'm not going to save anymore. I have a whole bag chock full, and this is a pretty big bag. It's like three inches it's like three inches tall and an inch and a half wide. So I have more than enough of 310. I'm not going to save any more 310s, but the 310s that I get and I don't use, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect them and I'm going to do, you know, like sand art. I wasn't going to tell, but I don't care. Maybe you guys want something to do with your extra beads and you can't figure out what to do. That's not another, like, huge project. You just save your beads. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Five, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. I'm just counting to see how many more I have. I'm going to just literally dump them into a bottle. Well, some of them I might separate, right? But this first bottle, I'm just going to dump them into the bottle because I have no chill and I have no more patience for all the beads. Like, I don't, I mean, all the gels. I just don't need to save the drills. Like, I just don't. I can't. The organizing, the de-kitting that takes like 20 to 30 minutes. And then I got to find the color. And and it's not like I have it disorganized. I have like 100s to four, 100s to 500s. Uh, I'm sorry, 100s to 600s. And then I have um, 700s to, to 1,000s or 900. And then I have the 3,000s. And then I have any 5,000s I have. And that's it. And then I have unlabeled ones, like kits where there were no DMC numbers. And I just have them, you know, in bags. I don't want to do that anymore. I just, I just don't want to do it anymore. Where's 14? Shoot, I skipped one. Okay, I'll come back. I just don't want to do it anymore. So I'm not, ugh. I messed this one up really bad. Okay. I just don't want to have to go through and de-kit every time. Okay. So, just by saying that, these are all squares. This is a square painting. I don't have that many squares. So, these I might all keep because I don't have a lot of squares. I have maybe 90% of my diamond paintings thus far have been rounds. So I have a ton of rounds. I don't have a lot of squares, so I'm going to keep most of these. But when it gets, you know, to the point where I have a lot of squares, um, I'm going to not, I'm not going to keep them because it's just too much. It's too much extra stuff that I just don't need. Like, maybe I'll start a square bottle. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing about my beads. I don't know what you guys do. I know I've seen so many cute, like, DIY projects, but I don't want my whole house to be drills. You know? I don't want everything to be turned into, like, bedazzling everything, because I don't want that. Like, maybe some people do. I don't want that. So I am looking for a couple of different things to do, but I it's not going to be all of a sudden all these diamond paintings on the wall. And all of these bottles of mixed drills. Like, that's just, that's going to make, that's also going to make me cuckoo bananas. So, that's not the goal. The goal is to maybe make five or six, you know, and put them in a little display and that's it. And then the rest of them will either be, I won't keep them anymore. I will see if someone else wants them or someone else needs them. Or do something else, but I'm not going to start, you know, the dazzling, you know, stuff around my house. Um, 
because that's just not what I want to do. I want to do the bottles, like I said, and then after that, it's just going to be the diamond paintings because I think if I start using these too many in too many places, it's going to diminish the specialness of the diamond paintings. So I don't want to take away from that. That's just my take on it. You do what you kind of want to do. Um, I have a couple of small ones. Okay, so I'm on 17 now, and like I said, it's 27, so I have set 10 more to do. So, like I was saying before, I am really looking forward to this next part of, um, this next part of, uh, my job life, my work life, and... I think it's something that I feel really prepared for and, you know, there's always, there's always room to grow, uh, not grow. I mean, there's always room to learn, always there's room to grow, but I'm saying, and in my company, especially, I feel like it's, you know, I feel like I really picked a winner when I decide to go down this path. All right. This is the only one I'm just going to straight replace because I don't see cues anywhere except for the eyes and the butterfly so i'm just going to straight replace it and what i'm also going to do is i'll do this okay okay i'm gonna label this so i know where it came from just in case there's like a random cue somewhere because i don't want to put these anywhere but the butterfly and the eyes so uh let's fill some of those out and see it one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so this will be and then what i'm gonna do is i label it so i don't you know oh why is that throwing me off why is that looking too blue like i wish it was more teal Hmm. Because I do have... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I do... Where did it go? I do have... 890, but that's too green. I don't know. Do I like that? Let's start... Mm. Do I like the, the green? So green eyes also. Let's stick with the blue. Let's stick with the blue. We're going with it. Let's not back down. Let's not change my mind right now. Because I'm already in the zone. I don't want to change my mind. So this is going to be 18 Q. And what's really in there though is... What did I say? Oh, 820. I don't know. It's kind of throwing me off. It's like way bluer than I thought. I wish it was teal. Not that there's any teal anywhere else. But it goes. I feel like it goes. Ugh, it's a little off. What would you guys think? I'm now I'm like totally second up. What would you guys think if I did purple? As a butterfly. Hmm. Cause it's square. I don't have a lot of oh sorry. I don't have a lot of square ABs. Hmm. I kind of wish it was teal and not just straight blue, because that's like a royal blue. Like the purple definitely makes more sense with the other colors, I think. More than the blue. How does the green look? Hold on, where you at? Where you at? I can't believe I said that. Where are you? The green could work. I don't know. I'm not loving the green. I might. Ugh, I didn't want to because I really wanted to start this. All right, let's keep going. Let's finish up. We'll go through and look through my boxes, and we will see if 
if um, I'm going to change my mind about the blue or not. I don't think so, but we'll just keep going. All right, so 19. It's definitely throwing me off because that's all I can think about now is that that blue is a little too striking. Um, I might not do an AB. I, if I find, um, if I find a teal, it doesn't have to be AB, but if I don't find a square teal, I'm just going to keep going. Hmm. Definitely has thrown me for a loop because I don't know what I want to do now. Okay, guys, I'm almost done. What I've learned is that I really think I am going to revisit the whole going on to diamond painting with sparkles because she does have, um, she ships pretty fast and it's not like I'm going to finish this super fast anyway. So if I go in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab like three or four different teals and see, because I know if I go in and I get um, the same color that that Q is, it's going to be like, you know, this like pale gray. And I don't, well, like, you know, like tealish gray and I want something more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right now I'm going to wrap up the video <laughs> or I might just pause and come back and tell you which one I got or I'll just, you know, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up a teal because I think teal is going to work the best. I love this green, but it's too green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in here now because, you know, I, it's not like I'll just not work on that color and decide because I could still do this. I could find in this box here. So here is a look inside of my extras. Okay. Over here, it's a hot mess. These are the bags that I was telling you about that I just mixed from the mountain slash waterfall one that I just did. So they're very neutral colors. And down here are just some extra ones. So let's look. I don't have a lot of squares, like I said before. But I want to see if I can find something that's going to work. Um, those are all rounds. And it doesn't nest does not necessarily have to be a B's. I did this this I did this myself. Um, it's not something I do tutorial on because everybody has um there are plenty of people showing how they did this, and it's not that serious. If you get the bags at the right size, you can cut pieces of cardboard. I just did, um, whatchamacallit, I did um, some washi tape around it just to make it look pretty, and that's about it. So now I'm just looking to see if I have a teal square with not even a lot, just a handful, but like most of these, like some of these are square. But most of them are rounds that these are from, these are not labeled because I don't have DMCs for them. So they're from kids that, you know, didn't have DMCs. So I just put them in bags and put them in here. And when I need to look for them, I need to look for them. Like that one looks like 154, but whatever, I don't know for sure. So this is actually from Diamond Painting with Sparkle. So I'm going to move that over there. So I'm looking for like a teal. And to be quite honest, I don't even remember where this was from. So I don't know if I even have. Oh, wait, something's back there. Something's back there, but they're round. <laughs> so let's just move this here so you guys can see what I'm doing. These are all round, so I don't have a teal 
I don't think I have any teal um, squares. All right. I'm not going to stress, nor am I going to... Oh, that's kind of like... A, okay, hold that, because that might be an idea. I'm not going to stress. I'm going to look once, and that's it. So I do not think... Just like I thought. I never thought I had, like, a teal square. You know what? No, scratch that. I don't want to be doing this all day. I don't want to be thinking about it. So let's put this back, and let's wrap you guys up. I am going to wrap this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Diamond Paint with Sparklers. I'm going to look for like three or four grit, uh, not great, <laughs> three or four teals that I think would go. I'm going to purchase them. I'm going to call it a day. I'm not even going to stress or sweat it. And then when I get to, I think this one I might section off because before what I was doing, the last thing, I, the last two diamond paintings I did so fast. And what I did is I did it by color. So I ran through and I did all of the A's or whatever, or whatever the symbol is. I did all of the symbol and came back and did all the other symbol. And let me tell you, I finished those diamond paintings in like three days. So, um, and they're not small ones. Like this one is a 30 by 40. I think the other one was a 35 by 40 or something like that. And then the other one was more narrow. Anyway. But it went really quick when I did that way. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing good. Like, you know, I know a lot of stuff is happening. I know gas is getting redonkulous. Um, I saw it by me today. The lowest I saw it by me was um, 8.30 something. And I was like, oh, God. No, 8.30 something. I'm sorry. That that's seems too much. It was 4... 80 something and I was like oh my god that's so good because you know I've seen it in the last couple of days get last couple of days I saw it and it was like 545 and I was like that is team too much right there anyway guys I hope you're doing well stay safe stay well stay healthy I will talk to you guys soon and you'll be seeing the updates on Instagram okay bye guys